So yeah, anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna put lazy Susie. I will definitely show you guys like the transformation and tips and tricks and stuff like that to organize a good, nice looking pantry and also be functional with four kids. <laughs> Here's another view. We have tons of storage. There's more storage right here. There, all right here, all right there. It's gonna be great. These drawers are freaking massive as well. They're so huge. I'm gonna do like separators and stuff like that from Container Store or maybe Amazon, whichever's cheaper, I don't really care. So that is what that looks like. What it looks like from back here. Can you turn it on? Yeah, probably. We're gonna have the TV right there, the couch, um, the chairs, dining room. You know. <laughs> You're a dork. So, yeah. There's that. Yeah. Yeah. Get. Really? I'm being appropriate. So we're walking over here and our bedroom is on the main floor. The, this is a linen closet that we have. Um, we just switched them. This linen closet was originally supposed to be where the coat closet is in the front, but we switched them because it just made more sense to, for it to be like more inside the home than out, out there. I get it. There's a, there is a bathroom right there. So that would make sense, but, um, not too many people are going to be using the shower in the main bathroom. I like it when they use the other bathrooms just cause I like to have the main bathroom, uh, for guests and it always being always to be cleaned and clean and stuff like that just makes more sense for me <laughs> that's why I like it <laughs> so um this is our bedroom this one is a bit bigger than our last house which I love we've already got the tv hookups right here we did have to pay extra for those but um we have hard wire or what is it called I was totally talking about hard wire now you know Non-stop internet, I guess. I forget what that's called. But yeah, the, we have the two windows, so the bed's gonna go right here. Our nightstand's right there, of course. Our TV behind us with our console slash dresser. And then a nice big old window. You can see the backyard. These houses are super butt-ass close, though. I freaking hate that. That is their garage, though. So that's not too bad. But yeah, it's just ridiculously close. So here is our bathroom. This is what it looks like when you first go through the doorway. So these white ones are the ones that I have set up for every other bathroom besides the main bathroom in the house because I thought it looked better. To me, it looked better. It looked like its own space. It looked like it was separate from the actual main house. And, you know, guests aren't going to be using these or anything like that. So I just thought it looked very spa-like to me. And I really, really liked the look. So again, continuing with the upgraded um, cabinets in here, soft clothes, the shaker style. So I really, really love that. And then in here, which I don't know why I did this, but I really didn't like this granite. And to upgrade to like a quartz or something was even more ridiculously expensive. So we didn't do that. We just went with the granite, like the second tier. Um, because... It was expensive enough <laughs> so yeah that's what we went with but i really don't like this granite but that's okay that's okay i'll live with it no biggie no biggie um and then yeah we went with the brush nickel fixtures as well so there we go with that and then when you turn to the left it is the bathtub and then a huge window where i'm gonna have all my plants i am gonna plant the shit out of this place like there's gonna be plants on the walls there's gonna be plants all along the side right here all over the place i love it plants and candles yes please so and then here is our shower right here i love that it's tiled all the way up to the ceiling i just freaking love that i love that it has like a bench for showers in the morning like you know how that goes when i was little i literally would lay on the floor in the bathtub <laughs> And just have water hit me in the mornings. I am a night shower person anyways, but, um, you know, if I have to take a shower in the morning, that's where I'm going to be. I'm going to be posted up right there. <laughs> um, here is the closet. And then here is the toilet room. They put the toilet in already. It's not too big. It's whatever. I'm going to put probably a couple of shelves right here um, to have my lady things, toilet paper, extra things like that. So now we get into my master closet and 
this is what it looks like. This is going to be my side because this is pretty much all I need. I'm not somebody that's super into clothes or anything like that. I mean, I like to have really good pieces that will just go with everything. That's, that's what I basically like. So I don't have so many things. <laughs> I can literally put all my stuff right here and probably like from there on, on both bars. This will be my husband's area right here. This will all be his. Um, this will be his right here as well. And then this guy is mine as well. I'm putting like my makeup drawers in here, my nail items, things like that. Um, I got this plug put in so I can put my fridge right here for my creams and my masks and all that good stuff. So I had that especially put there for that. Yes, I know, corny. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I really was adamant on having that. I really, really did want that. I think there's another plug down here. Yeah, there's one down here too. So there that is. And this all ties in back around to the hallway. And this is the washroom. And then there's the male sander. And then there's the entrance living, the entrance hall right there. So I love that, that it, the washroom is right here off my room. <laughs> But near my closet, not my, near my bed. Near dork. So now we're gonna go downstairs. Look at the hand railing. It's so pretty. I love it. I didn't think I was gonna like this iron, but I like it. I do. So here is what it looks like when you first come down to the basement. It is a massive space. <laughs> It is a full basement, meaning it equals the same as the main level does. It's a full ass basement. It's freaking huge and I love it. I fell in love with this freaking basement. It feels like it's upstairs. It doesn't feel basement-y. <laughs> so we have our living room area right here. We did put the extra plug on this side as well as on this side so we can have the option in case we wanted to move things around. We would have the TV options on either wall and then so um right now so far we're going to put it on this wall when we move in we'll have to buy a console table right here okay a console table right here and then our couch will go down here we have a massive um a sectional it's huge it's like i think for 10 seats or something like that it's huge so we'll have that there we're gonna buy a huge ottoman right here for it right here as well um, and then right here, we will be buying like an arcade that has all of our good old games. Like when we we're little, <laughs> we'll be doing that. And then, um, like a book little corner right there with a chair or beanbag or something like that. We're going to be putting a poker table right here and maybe a ping pong table. We're not hundred percent sure yet. Um, we have the space for it. So, and we like ping pong and the kids love ping pong. So we're thinking about it. Um, and then this is the bar. Yeah, we'll have probably two chairs right here. I don't think we need too many. <laughs> probably have two chairs right there. So let me turn this light on. This is the bar area. When you first walk down, this is what you see. Again, this matches the main bathroom and the main kitchen or the, the kitchen upstairs. <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like. Again, so much storage. So much freaking storage. I love it. I can't, I can't get enough of the storage. And then he, there's a fridge right here that we have as well. We're going to be replacing this fridge, um, just to be like a drink fridge and with the glass so you can see through. So we'll have our waters, our pops down here, whatever we want, we're going to put in that fridge. <laughs> so it has a little sink right here. We did have the hookup for a TV, a smart TV right here. We're going to be putting a smart TV right there, which I think would be great and some shelves and maybe like some signs, you know, cute little signs or something like that. Um, I'm thinking about putting my espresso machine down here. I'm not sure I'm having like a little setup because I used to be a barista for like seven years <laughs> and I love coffee stuff. So, um, and here, this is our utility closet. It's just a huge, gigantic utility closet. We're going to be putting like a muscle rack right here for our totes and stuff like that for seasonal items. Um, like Christmas decorations, things like that. There's also like under the stairs over here. I'll quickly show you because I'm running out of time. There's like a big space. So we're eventually wanting to put a door right here. Um, we can lock that we can lock and put like Christmas presents and stuff like that. <laughs> so 
yeah so that's what it looks like in there but I like this door it's so cute oh I'll have to fix that too I'll have to fix that so that is what it looks like right here and then over to the left there's two hallways there's this hallway down here leading to the junior suite and then there's this hallway in here leading to the two bedrooms and a bathroom right here that they share we'll go down here first um so right away you'll see another closet with tons of flipping storage and this closet's even bigger than the linen one upstairs it's huge it's like double the size i love it so much freaking storage and then here is the junior suite this is my second my middle daughter's um bedroom so she'll have her bed we've already hooked up her tv stuff so she'll have her tv items right here or her tv hanging right there and off to the left right here she has a little walk-in closet and she has tons of storage space. I'm going to buy like little drawers that she can pull out. Just like the little fabric ones that you can buy at Target for like $7.99. I'm going to buy her a bunch of those that look really, really cute. And that are sturdy because she's a pretty rough girl. So she can have all of her stuff hanging, her shoes, all that kind of stuff. You know how a closet works. <laughs> so that's what that looks like. And then she's got a little window, which I'm going to be decorating really cute. And then she has her own little bathroom. It's not little, guys. This is like... <laughs> I think this bathroom's bigger than the one, the main bathroom. I mean, it's flipping huge. Like, if I was 15, that's how old she is. If I was 15 and this was my fucking room, like... <laughs> I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I would lose my shit. But um, she says she's very grateful, so... <laughs> That's always good. She has a little medicine cabinet, again, with the white. Love it. So much drawer. She has tons of makeup and skincare and all that kind of stuff. She's really into that as much as I am. So she has all that. She's got the same bench that we do right here. So it's an enclosed shower door, glass shower door. Um, I'll probably buy, like, a film to go across right there to blur you know, just in case. You never know. Like, there's those times, you know, those instants that somebody just walks in because they didn't lock the door. <laughs> so, just in case that happens, not to be too embarrassing, we will have some film right there. <laughs> so, yeah, this is her bathroom. Just hers. Very cool. Okay, we're going to go down here. We'll turn off the lights as I go. And then into the hallway. This is just like a little hallway right here. And then we have bathroom or bedroom number three or two downstairs. So they've got a nice size closet right here. And then again, a window. And then down the hallway and to the left, we have a little bathroom. Not quite a Jack and Jill, but it is just their bathroom, so that's great. Um, and this is for the two youngest, the, the boy and girl, the one that you just saw a little while ago. <laughs> and then my youngest girl. So they're 9 and 10, so they will be sharing this bathroom right here. And I think it's a really good size bathroom for them. And again, we have the big like bunch of drawers and stuff they get a medicine cabinet as well and this i love because that's right more motherfucking storage <laughs> this is a huge closet like i love it they can put all their you know bathroom toys right here um you know we can put towels of course toilet paper all that good stuff will be in this closet for the downstairs bedrooms and then out into the left of the hall is the last bedroom. Um, this closet, I think, is a little bit smaller than the other closet because there's a closet right here on the inside of it. So <laughs> that is there. And then, um, again, a window and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. But that is it, guys. That is, that is the end of the house tour. Um, pretty much basically finished. Not really going to show you the outside. I've already showed you that shown that before so that is that is everything i'm obsessed with this freaking bar though i'm obsessed i freaking love it are you ready